Hello my friends and thanks for watching this video. My name is George Creamer and I provide missional training. In this video I'll be discussing the roles of a prophet, priest, and king. I feel that if you can apply these roles into your life and ministry, you will become a better uh, shepherd, you will become a better minister, a pastor, wherever God has called you to serve in the world. Thank you and God bless. There are three biblical leadership classifications which I felt could inform and direct the way in which the church carries out its shepherding or pastoral ministry. They are the roles of a prophet, priest, and king as found in the scriptures. When we receive Christ into our lives and, and commit to following him, we also partake and participate in his shepherding ministry which are carried out through these three roles. Some aspects of the three leadership classifications can clearly not be duplicated and can only be attributed to Christ, but as under-shepherds of the chief shepherd, there are ways that we can follow Christ's example without minimizing his unique and incomparable role. The below passage was chosen from Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 through 3 to show how Christ functions in all three capacities which are consolidated in a few verses. So we read, God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in times past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son. So we see his prophetic role. Whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the world who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. And he had by himself purged our sins, we see the role of a priest, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. We see his kingly role. These three roles find roots in the Old Testament. Prophets spoke God's word to the people. Priest interceded on behalf of Israel by offering sacrifices, prayers, and praises to God, and kings ruled over the people as God's representatives and stewards. These roles would find final consummation in Christ, who was anointed to fulfill these roles once and for all at the start of his ministry when the dove descended on him. And we find this in each gospel account. Based on the verses above, which we read in Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 3, Christ is depicted fulfilling all these roles. Christ is depicted as a prophet. We read that in verse 2. As in these last days spoken to us by his Son. As the final prophet, he fully reveals to us God's full and final revelation concerning our redemption and restoration, fulfilling the prophecy in Deuteronomy 18.15. Christ is also depicted as chief priest in verse 3. He had by himself purged our sins. As high priest, he not only presented the sacrifice on the altar for the forgiveness of our sins, but also became the final sacrifice by giving his life, and he makes continual intercession with the Father on our behalf. He made atonement for the sins of the world. We read that Hebrews 9.22 Fulfilling the imperfect Levitical ministry. Christ is also depicted as king. We read that in verse 3. Sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. As eternal king and lord over creation and head of the church, he defends and preserves us in our salvation, having liberated us from sin and slavery by paying our ransom. These three roles should influence our service. As followers of Christ, his role as prophet, priest, and king should influence and inform our lives and service. Christ empowered and sent his followers through the Holy Spirit to continue the ministry which he started. We read in John chapter 20, verse 21, As the Father sent me, I also send you. We look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, as a source of direction to how we should lead our lives and ministries. None of these roles can be accomplished without unity with Christ, who is our primary minister, the Good Shepherd. He is the Chief Shepherd and the Great Shepherd. It is through our union with Christ that we share in his mission. 
Jesus proclaims in John 14:6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Apart from Christ, ministry becomes our own doing instead of His. The body of Christ is joined together by His Spirit through which members are empowered to carry out these three leadership roles for the sake of fellow believers and the world. The shepherding role of Christ carried out through these offices are helpful in giving church leadership direction in regard to the work of the church and the continuation of his mission. So how can we apply these roles today? We can apply the biblical image of a shepherd through these three leadership classifications in today's age. As prophets, we feed God's people. Through spoken words, we can feed God's people with his word. God gives us divinely inspired words to share with others, which can serve a multitude of purposes, like to exhort, uh, to comfort, inspire, call upon, even to challenge and disturb in order to call others to a better path according to his will. As priests, we care for people. Priests never lose sight of the most important aspect of ministry, which is to care for people. Priests serve by demonstrating compassion and care for the afflicted through intercession by way of prayer, mercy, and self-sacrificial love. As kings, we lead God's people. We lead as managers and administrators of God's resources by implementing safety, justice, and order in the places we are called to provide leadership and extend God's will and ways into the world. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to receive missional-related resources and training, or connect to other leaders who desire to live out God's mission as well, visit our Sent to the World social media outlets. You can also email me at jorge at sentintotheworld.org. Thank you and have a blessed day.